Who would have known that something rotten to the core would enable my next guest, Casey Kelleher, to give up her day job and write full time, but she had a huge success with her debut novel called Rotten to the Core. Just to get on and do it. So many people sort of say, when do we start? I've got some ideas. Uh, you just have to sit down and write. Bad Blood. Um, I just really enjoyed the writing process. Um, it just came together really well. I write during the day. I'm lucky enough that my children are all teenagers now, um, so they're all at school, hubby's at work, so I get the day to myself. I absolutely love uh, Martina Cole. Uh, she's very inspirational. Um, I grew up reading her novels um, and I, I just love her books. I have too many guilty pleasures. <laughs> um, I absolutely love anything, trashy TV, Real Housewives, Big Brother. Uh, also love a odd gin or two. <laughs> Not really, no. I like to get my writing done first thing in the morning, just so it's done and out of the way. And I think then by the afternoon, you feel like you've had a really productive day and then you can go over edits and stuff in the afternoon. Doesn't always work out that way. <laughs> No, funny enough, I worked in the beauty industry uh, for 10 years um, and it was just something that my granddad, he was in his 90s and he bought his first laptop and um, with the idea to write his first novel. Um, and then I just thought, you know, I, I, actually I want to do that as well. I want to see if I can give it a go. So I did and it just took off. Well, I actually am quite a shy person. I hate interviews, so all of the questions. <laughs> um, not, there's nothing, you know, quite open in any way, but just a bit of a shy person really. Luckily enough, no. I've heard so many authors um, say about like stories about losing twenty thousand words and you know entire books. Um, I've got a, a good Mac um, computer, so I use that, and I always back it up on a, a memory card. Sometimes it's just kind of seeing what in the media, like the newspapers, and you hear a little snippet of a story, um, and you just get a little idea and you just run with it, really. Generally, for me, I, instead of thinking of the storyline, I actually think of a character and their predicament and then go from there. Thank you so much, Casey, for being on the author's studio.